today we're going to do an oil change and a, probably fuel filter on the Bolins. This is a 38 inch, 15 and a half horse. I think he got it at Lowe's. This was a rescue. Uh, about 10 years ago, my father-in-law's health was failing and he wasn't really keeping up with the maintenance on it. Uh, the air he had the, the gas and oil, he was getting kind of confused and the uh, deck was froze up. So my mother in just wanted me to take it out to the country and dump it, just get it out of the yard. She didn't want it sitting in the back of the yard collecting leaves and stuff in the yard anymore. So I was just going to take, take it out to the country and dump it in my behind the barn where I got the rest of my old riding mowers. So we hooked it up and drug it over here. They just live about a block away. We hooked it up and drug it over, chained it, and just I was pulling my son on it and he was driving it. And I got it home and I thought, yeah, I'm just going to try to mess around with it. So I cleaned up the oil, the gas, worked on the deck, and I've been using it for 10 years. And I don't even need it right anymore here, really. I mean, I got a, the lawn I got here at home is not that big, just a normal subdivision front and back. It's nice to use, but uh, so I'll use it till it craps out, I guess. This one doesn't have a filter. It's just to drain the oil and put new oil in it. So you don't have to mess with a filter. And I think the only other thing is, is a fuel filter. We'll put that on. Just a little inline filter. So well, let's get to it. I don't know if my father-in-law did this or if this is how it came. But there's a, he just put a pipe nipple on this thing. Because the oil was way back in there. You know, I said I never really had to do anything to it but adjust the valves. But I did put a carburetor on it. I forgot. Because it started running bad, kind of missing and just running generally bad. But it was simple. I just bolted the carb on and it ran perfectly fine. There was no adjustments or anything necessary. So, so all right, let's get this fuel filter replaced while that oil's draining. All right, this is going to be the, the gusher here. So I think I'm going to try to get this thing off and pulled up. I'm not going to worry about this. A little bit of gas in here. And, uh, put the big side toward the fuel tank. Let's see if I can jam this in here. Just to hold this baby here for a minute. This one, I must have put this one on backwards the last time. Oh, whatever. All right, let's see what we got here. We can do this quick. There we got her. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about replacing that carburetor, so I got around this side. I thought, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, I think it's about done. Or done enough. I guess. Let's see what we got here. All right, I got part of one here. I don't know if I'm going to need the funnel or not, but hopefully no. I think I got a new one somewhere. Just a little above full. I think I'm going to start it up. Let it churn a little bit and see what happens here. did one other thing to this thing too I forgot I replaced that tie rod end that came off on me in the yard <laughs> almost ran into the fence I think it was last year so that the carburetor and tightening up the uh, lifters is about the only thing I ever did to it. it still runs pretty good I think I put about eight in the back here Six and a half. Okay. Out in the country, it doesn't really make any difference, but here, if those, if the tires are kind of off, you can scalp this lawn. And out there, I could care less, but in here, I don't like it getting scalped too bad. Eight two. Close enough. Let's see what this one's got. 
This has got eight. We'll go up to about 10 or so. This one will go 12. This is 14, so we'll go 12 in these. That's plenty. Good enough. 12, 2, I think it said. Let's see what we got here. 6, 8. That's good. 8, 2. I think the other one was 8, 2 also. The blades are okay. The deck's okay. So not bad for a free one. When I got it, that's been probably 10, 8 or 10 years ago. I just drained the oil and the gas, got everything cleaned up, put fresh oil and gas in it, let it run itself out for, I probably let it out on the driveway there for about 10 minutes, let it run, smoked up the whole neighborhood, but then it started running clean. I think I put a plug in it, and that's it. All right, ready for another couple years.